Many hearing impaired children are still stigmatized in the society and an even greater population of the girls often suffer in silence. Recent statistics shows that over 200,000 children are living with a hearing disability with only about 10% in school. The unfortunate reality is that Kenya has only 120 schools for deaf children, including 23 secondary schools. The realities of the silent scourge can be felt in many poor counties like Kilifi, where community leaders narrate how the already bad situation is being made worse by poverty. Mtoto alikuwa ameachwa nyumbani peke yake. Jamaa akaja na boda boda watatu. The place is Kilifi South mahali kunaitwa Chonyi. Walipokuja hapo na boda boda akaja akambeba. Walipo walipo itasa kwa driver na wavulana wawili sasa yeye aliweka wanne hapo. Alikuwa kama pikipiki imebeba watu wanne. Akampeleka kwa msitu. Alikuwa hawezi piga kelele. Kozi hawezi ongea. Wakampeleka kwa msitu. They defiled her. By that time that girl was had uh, come 18 years. Wakaenda kwa mdefile, walipo mdefile, baadaye akarudi nyumbani, alipo rudi nyumbani akaja kaoga, akaniinua. Sasa akajaribu kuelezea mamake what has happened lakini mzazi hakuweza kujua. The daunting journey of raising hearing impaired children has created a rift between the children and parents, making it even more difficult for the children to speak up on their challenges. Was as you all hawajui hawajui sign language na kama hao wazazi wa kutoka chonyo walipokuja hata kuandika kwenye kusoma na kuandika hawajui hasa hata kusema amemwandikia atajuaje ilikuwa ni changamoto hao nini hao vijana sasa wengine wanachukua ile advantage akijua huyu kimbeba hawezi piga nduru kwa sababu kama angelikuwa mtoto hivi hivi angelipiga nduru akasema kaenda kipiga nduru mpaka watu wakasikia some of the girls from Pumwani secondary school have lamented that most parents and community members do not understand how to communicate with them making it difficult for them to give them the desired attention for them to feel part of the society. Mark Aringo, the translator and also a teacher at Pumwani Secondary School for the Deaf, communicates what some of the girls' frustrations are. The main challenge nyumbani ni issues to do with the pesa. Pesa ni kidogo asa nadani nyumbani ya wako vema ki hela. Kwa hivyo inabidi akitafuta kitu kama pads. Sometimes mzazi ya namuambia ngoja ngoja pesa hiko. Kasema wengine hata panties hawana. So unapata umepatia msichana hizo pads na they didn't have hizo nini. Wengine wanaibia na uko. One of the girls describes how the challenges of poverty has hindered her from attending classes consistently, which is also translated by Mark. Anasema kama kona rafiki, anaitua Molly. Molly by the time ulikuwa munakuja, anasema ilikuwa metumia pads zake zikaisha. Anasema, for example, kama wana pads, wanasema they cannot sit for a long time because stains, stains itakuwa kila maali and they become ashamed. So most of the time wanalala, wanalala kwa dogo. The school's principal is calling on the government and well wishes to provide support for the children. Some students who have heavy flows, like now I have one when they are on a heavy flow and because of their disability, most of them they are sick, they are half sick. Mtu akiwa ni disabled, that is deaf, akona some other problems. Some have multiple disabilities. So you find, yu kutumia pads, they use in big numbers. Parents of deaf or hearing impaired children have described frustration and discrimination by society, making it difficult for children to integrate with their peers. Lucy Riley for Ebri TV.